The Ghana okay. Revenue Authority says they've seen says it has seen a significant improvement in uh, operations with introduction of the taxpayer identification number that's a TIN number. A taxpayer identification number is a unique one that's generated by the GRA for persons including corporate entities to enable GRA credit uh, identify to check for payment of taxes. The Chief Revenue Officer at the Legon Medium Taxpayer Office, Richard Alajo, Ajago, uh, I should say, has been speaking to us about that. With the passing of the law that with, without a team you cannot transact business with a whole lot of institutions, it is helping a lot because now everybody has to come around. If you have to open a bank account, you need to come to us to give you a team to be able to do that. Registration of vehicles, you need to come to GRA for a team. So it's gone a long way to help us. We are getting more companies on board. In other words, we are widening the tax net through the introduction of that thing, policy. It is a policy of the Ghana Revenue Authority this time around to encourage voluntary compliance. In other words, tax collection and tax administration is moving away from where we use the whip the, to enforce our laws to encouraging voluntary compliance in, through education and then constant and continuous uh, educational or seminar, seminars. The Commissioner General of the, VR, of the GRA has instructed that one from November 1, ethanol, lead, uh, acid, batteries, canned tomato, fish and drinks will be banned from being warehoused. The Assistant Commissioner of Customs Division at the Kotoka International Airport, Teresa Che Asari, says the move is to check smuggling. It, it, the warehouse system is uh, uh, it, uh, a system in which that uh, we allow you to keep your goods that duties have not been paid into the warehouse, and the, uh, but the warehouse is under bond. And you, uh, 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 then we give you a period for the various goods that you, you, you want to warehouse. We, we have perishable goods given three months, and then we have the general goods that we give you one year, and then we have the raw materials that we give you two years plus another one year of extension. And uh, it, it gives relief to importers because especially those who import goods in bulk. Maybe someone will bring a shipload of rice, and so you have to keep them in the warehouse. They have the advantage of keeping them in the warehouse and then paying for the duty as at when that the goods are needed into the system. So it is a way of relief, a system of relief for importers who import bulk goods or maybe high dutiable goods, or if they want a Maybe they are going through financial stress, and so they don't have money to pay upfront, and so they will use the warehousing system as, as a means of bringing in goods. These products are uh, actually high; uh, uh, the duty rate are 35 percent, and the fact that people can just keep them in the warehouses, and they may find a way of re-exporting them, but in the process of re-exporting them, these goods may not get out of the country. And so if you get them into the warehouse, the probability that they may be using the re-exportation to smuggle them out is high. And so that's why we want to place a check on them.